Howdy boys and girls, Mike Rempel here from another set of eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at uh, using VLOOKUP in combination with some ifs or some product to uh, do a lookup in a table to return some uh, grades for students in a class or various classes. So what do we have here? We have a, a table here with student numbers, their name, the class they took, and what grade they have. We have an area here where we can select the name and the class and have it return a grade and we have our grade uh, table for the lookup. So uh, by using data validation we can change uh, the name or the class and the formula in column H is going to return our proper grade after doing a lookup in our table. So let's take a look at exactly what these formulas are doing. Um, well, nope, I want to do that equals formula text and look at this formula. So here's the formula that's in cell H5. We're using VLOOK and then we're using some product. Now what some product is doing is we're going to look in B2 to B13 which is the name and compare that to F5 which is what we have here multiplying that times C2 to C13, which is the class, comparing it to what we have in G5, which is the class name, and then multiplying that times D2 to D13, which is our grade. Uh, in essence, it's basically looking for a match of all those, and then using a VLOOKUP formula, it's going to go down to our grade table, look for the score, uh, go to the proper grade associated with it and return that to cell H5. So if we take a look at this, if we highlight the sum product formula and hit F9, you'll see that in essence it's looking at, it's returning the value of 2.5. Tom in Econ has a grade of 2.5. Then it's going 2.5 looking it up in our table F9 to G13 going to the second column which is what the 2 represents and doing an approximate match which is what 1 indicates. 0 would be an exact match but since uh, the grades you can see are 2.5, 1.4, 3.9 we're not always going to get an exact match so it's going to go to the closest score below what um, the uh, next number would be. So that is why we use one for an approximate match. And there you have it where it will return the appropriate grade based on that lookup. Now an alternate way to accomplish the same thing is using some ifs. And some ifs are in essence doing the same uh, function as some product is going to it does in uh, in the previous formula if we take a look at what some ifs uh, does it looks for a range well, let's take a look at some ifs and it's going to look at our sum range our sum range in this case is the grade d column d and then it's going to say okay then what's my criteria range B2 to B13, which is the name, comparing it to F5. C2 to C13, which is a class, comparing it to uh, G5. And then looking in our table, F9 to G13. Second, go to second column, return an approximate match, and we're going to end up with the same result. Again, same thing if I highlight the sum ifs formula hit F9 to see what it's calculating. It calculates up to a 2.5, which will return a grade of C um, until it hits 3, which would be the next match there. So here you have it, either using some product or some ifs with VLOOKUP to uh, uh, go through a chart, pull out the uh, two criteria, the name and the class, and return a grade after doing a VLOOKUP in a grade table. I uh, hope you liked it. I hope it's valuable to you. And if you'd like to see more, please go to excel-bytes.com and feel free to subscribe to my blog post. Happy Excelling!